At home, he owns a 1.4 Ford Fiesta, but in Cyprus, teenage private Conor McGowan gets to drive something far more fun. In the training village at RAF Aquitiri, two Yorks are getting acquainted with the Foxhound, the British Army's latest light patrol vehicle, each one reportedly costing just shy of a million pounds. Learn how to handle the vehicle, learn how to drive it, but as well as driving it, you're going to be learning how to crew it, maintain it. So obviously when you sign that vehicle out, it's yours. You're, you're the pretty much the mini mechanic, as we're called, to look after that vehicle. So when the lads, all the lads that are joining in the crew are also trained to be a mechanic as well. Like the Foxhound drivers, we've got to maintain that vehicle as best we can. After a week in the classroom, these new drivers are let loose around the training village, learning how to deal with the ups and downs of the dragon's teeth. Right, follow the wall round and start giving it some left hand down now. They're also tested through this weaving HESCO course. They call it the chicane. The Foxhound's four-wheel steering means it can navigate these very tight turns. The Foxhound came into service at the end of the Afghanistan campaign. For infantry soldiers like this, it'll become their most common small patrol vehicle. Two Yorks want to train 99 privates to drive this in the coming months as they re-roll from a light roll infantry battalion to a mechanized battalion. The Foxhound was built for battle, but surprisingly it has Formula One technology running through its veins. Engineers from McLaren helped design it. No surprise, perhaps, that it has a top speed of 70 miles an hour. Like other vehicles conceived for Afghanistan, it also has a V-shaped hull to deflect roadside bombs, and it's made from explosion-absorbing composite material. It's a light patrol vehicle, what it's used for, um, and then moves the lads around the battlefield and then when they actually come to actually doing their fighting of it, they debus out of the back and leave, get vehicles get left where they are with obviously drivers and commanders with them and then the rest of the lads are out actually doing the fighting on the ground as they normally would do. Remember to keep to, a bit to the right here so we can go left. Bought to replace the much criticised Snatch Land Rover, the British Army will eventually get 300 of these vehicles at a cost of £270 million. For troops like these, the nimble Foxhound, very much the future. Simon Newton, Forces News, Cyprus.